Hello, welcome to Revenant Reads. I'm Vin, and this is the Hobby Tag. So this tag was created by James Holder. He created this a few months ago. I'd seen it going around and thought it would be a fun one to do. Um, and I am pairing it in a way with uh, Mark from Book Time with Elvis's tag of the I used to do that tag, uh, which talks about a lot of past hobbies and interests that we had. And I thought this would be a good sequel to that because it kind of focuses a little bit more on, at least for the most part, there, are, there is some overlap, uh, but it focuses more on what we currently do. Uh, so this is sort of a sequel to the last one I had just finished filming, actually, right before I press uh, record on this video. Um, <clears throat> so uh, we'll go through the questions and talk about hobbies. Uh, the first one, within your personal library, do you collect books, for example, specific authors, editions, publishers, genres, etc.? Um, when I add to my library, library, I'm not usually looking for particular editions, maybe with just a few exceptions. Um, I usually just try to have as nice of a copy as possible for the permanent collection. Uh, you know, I usually can't afford to be too picky. Um, and a lot of my collection does end up coming from library book sales. Uh, so sometimes I'll buy a condition that's not very good uh, of a book at a library book sale, and then at a future sale and in maybe another place, I'll find the same book that's a much better condition, and I'll buy it and I'll trade it out. Um, so eventually I'll have nice copies of everything, uh, but it is not always a top priority. Um, but when I do have a nice copy of a book, I like to keep it that way. I am not somebody who abuses my books at all. Um, and I do tend to buy a lot of, uh, as far as what I do buy, buy a lot of history books. Um, I do seek out and collect some things relating to horror studies, uh, you know, books that examine and analyze the horror genre. And um, if I find them really cheap at book sales, I'll also pick up Star Trek books. Um, and, you know, last year and this year, I'm spearheading the uh, Book Trek um, Star Trek fiction uh, reading events. Uh, so in this year, that will be in August and September. Uh, number two, what are your non-bookish hobbies? Um, I mean, writing is something I'm getting back into, and it's kind of a non-bookish hobby, but I guess I guess if you publish it, it's not. Uh, <laughs> but um, I do like writing. Uh, I'm trying to read, write a little more as far as poetry and fiction. Uh, I usually write a lot of non-fiction, but I'm trying to read, uh, write some more fiction. Um, I also do like to collect historical edged weapons, um, recreations if I can't get antiques. Uh, this is something that I stopped doing for a while just because I couldn't afford it, but now I've started picking it up again, although it is not something I collect en masse and, you know, very quickly. Uh, it, I, I gradually gain these things over time. Um, I do like uh, another hobby of mine is board gaming, tabletop games. Uh, my wife and I got into those uh, some years back. We got tired of, you know, sitting on the couch watching stuff every night, so we wanted something new and you know, a, a better, a more fulfilling experience at night. So we started uh, buying board games and playing them. We had friends who also really liked board games and played them. So we'd have them come over for just board game nights. And we've introduced a lot of people, a lot of other people to board games. And they always have a blast with it. And they always ask for more board game nights. So, um, you know, we're, we're always happy to oblige. Uh, so, yeah, board gaming is something that we really enjoy. Uh, I also, I love horror movies. Um, I have ever since I was a kid, so I spend a lot of time watching horror movies or reading about horror movies or investigating horror movies. I um, co-host a horror movie discussion podcast called The Horror Cast, so I also talk about horror movies. Um, so that's definitely a hobby of mine. Uh, as far as other stuff I watch, I like watching soccer. Um, I like watching especially international games, countries competing. I follow the U.S. team. Uh, Connecticut where I live, uh, they do have a, like, a USL championship team, which is kind of like the minor leagues. <laughs> it's the league below Major League Soccer, but we have a team in Hartford, the Hartford Athletics, so I'll watch their games whenever I can. So um, I do enjoy watching soccer, uh, especially if I can't, um, you know, if, if I'm doing something at the same time, I like to have a soccer game on if one is on. And another hobby is just making booktube videos, uh, which is kind of a bookish hobby, but... You know, um, it's it's all tech related. Uh, number three, uh, what hobbies have you fallen out of and why? Um, and here's some of the overlap from the last one. So I'll, I'll kind of briefly um, go through these. But um, collecting comics, 
I did that as a kid and a little bit in my 20s again, but it just became way too expensive. Uh, I still enjoy the art form of the comic, um, but those issues, I, I couldn't keep up with the costs. Um, and even though I have more money than I used to, yeah, I don't think that they're worth what is on the price tag at this point. Um, I used to draw comics as well, and that's related to it, but um, I stopped doing that when I started writing more. Um, so really by the time I was in high school, I was starting to focus more on writing rather than drawing. Um, I was really into craft beer for a long time, um, and I still drink craft beer, I still like it, uh, but just for health reasons, I have a, a thyroid issue especially, I mostly drink socially. Um, and I almost never drink at home, except on rare occasions with my wife. If it's been like a long week or something, we'll, we'll just share a drink together. But, um, you know, it's just not something that I'm, I'm, I can get nearly as into as I once was. Uh, role-playing games, I was really into. Um, you can see some Dungeon Dragons books. This is one that I kind of brought back a little bit with my friend group, but then COVID hit, and I'm hoping to, at some point soon, get back into it again. Uh, also I did HEMA. Uh, which is historical European martial arts, basically um, uh, learning how swords were used in the you know medieval and Renaissance era. Um, you know, for, for the most part. I mean, there, there's more to it than that. Uh, that. That's the basics, and trying to recreate and learn the fighting styles. Uh, I did that for a while, like around right around college years. Um, but then things got busy. Uh, once again, finances. I couldn't really keep up with the cost of equipment <laughs> and things that were needed, um, especially back then when they, there wasn't a lot of it. Uh, but, you know, we're talking well, 20 years ago. Um, but uh, that's something I'd like to get back into, at least in part, um, you know, but we, we'll see where that goes. Uh, I used to go to the movie theater a lot, um, stopped doing that, uh, not just because of COVID, but mostly because of kids. Um, you know, I didn't want to just tell my wife, hey, I'm, I'm heading to the theater and leaving you with the kids for a while. So I just hardly ever think about going to the theater anymore. Um, four, uh, do you regret dropping those hobbies? Uh, like I said, the only two that I'm really trying to think about, you know, I'm, I'm trying to bring back are the HEMA, Historical European Martial Arts, and also role playing. Uh, just because I find that really fascinating and a great time to spend with friends. Um, so I regret dropping those. Especially HEMA, I think more for, um, I probably could have, you know, gotten way more exercise over the years if I kept it. Um, but, uh, you know, it, it is something I would like to get back into. And last prompt, number five. What hobbies do you wish you had? Um, I wish I was musical. I love music, but I can't carry a tune. And uh, I did try to play guitar, but I had a really hard time with the frets. My, my hands, uh, it, it, it got very frustrating for me. Uh, if I can go back in time, I would have loved to learn an instrument, um, maybe even like violin or something. Uh, I've always loved that instrument. Um, I would like, you know, I wish that I had the, uh, the hobby of martial arts, um, maybe like jujitsu or something like that. Related to that, I wish I had more of the hobby of working out. Um, I do go to the gym, but I don't do it enough, you know, um, like I, I went to the gym this week, you know, I lifted, I was all sore and I should have gone the day after and the day after, but I just, it's too sporadic for me to, I haven't developed like a, a good system. So I do go to the gym, I do work out, but it's, it's not enough to really make a huge difference. And I know that, and that's something that I want to, uh, you know, develop as more of a hobby, just make it a hobby of working out. Uh, archery, I want that as a hobby back. Um, I did that for a little while. Uh, the property that we live on right now just doesn't allow for it. It's too small. Um, that arrow, if I miss a target, is either going to go into a neighbor's yard, into a river, into the road. Um, just not a good place for arrows to go flying. Uh, if we do successfully move within the next month or so, I'll have a lot more property to shoot arrows in. So I will like to do that. Um, and I wish that hiking was more of a hobby. I do hike sometimes. Um, I wouldn't call it, I, I don't hike enough to call it a hobby though. Uh, you know, something you got to do with some consistency, but so I go hiking. Um, but if it was more of a hobby, I'm sure that it would have very good health benefits for me. Um, so that is it. Uh, those are my questions for the hobby tag, uh, 
So, you know, created by James Holder. So James, uh, thank you for creating this tag. Um, I'm not gonna tag anyway, because I wasn't tagged on this. Uh, like I had said, I saw this as a good follow-up to uh, Mark's tag, um, which once again was the, I used to do that tag. Uh, so, you know, that's it. That's kind of, this kind of a, a part two slash sequel to that tag. Um, so, um, actually I think I will, if Mark from Book Time Belvis hasn't done this tag, I'll tag you for this. Um, you know, you, you know, you've done a lot more tags than I have, but if you have not done this tag, consider yourself tagged for this. Uh, so anyhow, uh, you know, I'd love to hear from people in the comments if you have anything uh, to say. If you used to do any of these hobbies as well, that'd be great to hear. But as always, thank you, BookTube.